on Battle of Britain. What it took to win, Tuesday night at 8. This is BBC World News America. Funding of this presentation is made possible by the Freeman Foundation, Newman's Own Foundation, giving all profits to charity and pursuing the common good for over 30 years, Kovler Foundation, and Union Bank. At Union Bank, our relationship managers work hard to know your business offering specialized solutions and capital to help you meet your growth objectives. We offer expertise and tailored solutions for small businesses and major corporations. What can we do for you? And now, BBC World News America. special edition of BBC World News America reporting from Paris, France. I'm Cathy Kay. In an exclusive interview, the US Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel tells me Russia is still a real threat to Europe and defends the controversial release of Bo Bergdahl. I've been to war. I know a little something about this. Uh, and uh, this was the right decision for the right reasons. We don't leave our people behind. Meanwhile, at the G7 meeting, the family photo is noticeably missing Vladimir Putin, but he's still a major topic of conversation. And in New York, I'm Laura Trevelyan with the rest of the day's news, including General Motors says a pattern of incompetence and neglect were to blame for a long-delayed recall, but claim there was no cover-up. Welcome to our viewers on public television in America and also around the globe. Tonight we are coming to you live from Paris, which is a very crowded city full of world leaders. Queen Elizabeth is here, President Obama is here, President Vladimir Putin's also here, David Cameron here. It's so crowded that you can barely move in this city. In fact, it is so busy that the French President Francois Hollande had to have dinner twice, first with Barack Obama and then with Vladimir Putin because the two men did not want to run into each other diplomatically. Very tricky. It all comes ahead of the D-Day commemorations in Normandy tomorrow. 